Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Today we're working on number 37 on the new general curriculum math subtest, part of the 2017-2018 teacher workshop series. This one right here is part of the geometry problems and it's going to introduce Euler's formula. And if you've never heard of Euler before, he's a mathematician that looked at shapes that were called polyhedrons. These are these three-dimensional geometric shapes that are made up of polygons. And he came up with a bunch of formulas to describe the relationship between the faces, vertices, and edges of these three-dimensional shapes. We're going to look at the cube here, and we're just going to look at this polyhedron and sort of work out uh, Euler's formula. This is some advanced math, but it can also be solved very easily. So if you've never heard of Euler before, don't worry about it. You don't have to be in a calculus or pre-calculus class to hear the name. We'll talk about it now, and we'll solve it very quickly. So let's start by reading it over. Number 37, it says use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. They give us a diagram of a cube or three-dimensional shape made up of polygons and another name for that is a polyhedron. And it says Euler's polyhedron formula relates to the number of faces, edges, and vertices of any closed polyhedron. If E, F, and V represent the number of edges, faces, and vertices respectively of a cube shown above, which of the following equations relating to these values is true? Now let's just highlight some things here. You pronounce that as Euler, not Euler, a whole bunch of other ways of pronouncing it, but Euler. And we're going we're gonna to work through Euler's formula. It has this word polyhedron, and it says it twice. A polyhedron, again, we said this before, sometimes you've got to say it multiple times just so you can get it in your lexicon. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape made up of polygons, and a cube is a type of polyhedron. So I'm going to highlight that, that cube there. It's a type of polyhedron. And we're looking specifically at those faces, edges, and vertices of this cube or polyhedron. And we're going to come up with this equation that shows the relationship between the faces, edges, and vertices, and try and retract the steps that Euler did in his formula. Now you don't need to know Euler's formula to work out this problem, although it will help, but you might not have been in a, a pre-calculus or calculus class yet. So, so let's say you don't have that background. We can still work this out by working with what we know about faces, vertices, and edges of a shape like this. First, we want to identify the number of faces, vertices, and edges in our polyhedron. We're given our polyhedron in this case is a cube, and we can actually count them up. Like, for example, faces. The number of faces on a cube or, or the faces on a six-sided die. Well, there's six of them. That's, that's the, uh, the portion on the outside here that makes up the square. We got one, two, three, four, the back and the front. It should be six. Think of this cube like a six-sided die. It's got six faces on that die. Vertices. Vertices are where the faces come together and create that point. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight vertices in a cube. Now edges. Think of edges. This is where the faces meet. We got one, two, three, four on the bottom. One, two, three, another three here. So three plus four is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got 12. Let's just call that 12, okay? So a cube has six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. Remember that. Now we go to these equations. Now we're looking for the one that's true. So we're going to use these numbers, and what I want you to do is, not knowing Euler's formula, every time you see the variable f, I want you to substitute in 6. So we got 6, 6, 6. 6, and everywhere you see V for vertices, I want you to substitute in 8. We got 8, 8, 8, 8. And everywhere you see edges, E for edges, substitute in 12. 12, 12, 12, 12. Now I want you to evaluate these equations and find out which one's true. Another way of thinking about which one's true is which one works. Let's look at D. 6 plus 8, what does that get you? Well, that gets you 14. Does 12 plus 14, what does that get you? Well, that gets you 26. Does 14 equal 26? No, that's not true. What about this? C, so D is wrong. 
6 plus 8 again is 14. Does that equal 12 plus 8, which is 20? Eh, that one's wrong too. How about B? 6 plus 8 is 14. They're all going to equal 14. So I'll just make that here. The, the bottom one doesn't equal 26. C doesn't equal 20. B, we have uh, 12 plus 6. That gets you uh, 18. That doesn't get us to the answer. But this one does. 6 plus 8 gets 14. 12 plus 2 gets 14. So A is a true statement. So A is the answer. Now let's look at A. Our true statement here where it says faces 6 plus vertices 8 is equal to edges 12 plus 2. This right here is a true statement and it works off of Euler's formula. Euler's formula can be uh, written in a bunch of different ways but usually we see it like this. Faces plus vertices minus edges is equal to 2. Now I know that's not exactly what A says, but if we tweak this just a little bit, we add edges to both sides, well what we find is faces plus vertices is equal to E, edges, the number of edges, plus 2. This right here, team, is... Now, <laughs> you're not in an advanced math class, so maybe you, didn't, you wouldn't see that this matches up with A directly. Okay, but it's a nice piece of information to know faces plus vertices minus edges is equal to 2 and that could be manipulated to faces plus vertices is equal to edges plus 2 and hey, maybe it's something worth memorizing. Or you could just stick with being able to identify the faces, vertices, and edges of a cube and being able to just plug it into each one of these equations and evaluating which one works. And we found out that D, C, and B don't work, and A is the only one that does, which would be the correct answer. All right? Okay, team, the answer here is A. This is a nice intro to Euler's formula. Learn it. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.